इज सेइंग डन मेवेट सो सी बेटे द कार्बन द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन आर फोर ओके एंड यू हैव टू ऑक्सीजन एंड ईच ऑक्सीजन इज डबली बॉन्डेड एज इट हैज टू फॉर्म डबल बॉन्ड तो how many electrons are there in the oxygen in the valence shell there are six electrons here also there are six electrons okay out of six two are used to form the double bond here also two are used and now there is the completion of octet of the carbon itself and octet of oxygen and octet of again of this is the electron dot structure of carbon dioxide okay so the next question is bete what would be the electron dot structure of a molecule of sulfur which is made up of eight atoms of sulfur see sulfur is orthorhombic or monoclinic but in the bracket they have mentioned the eight carbon of sulfur are jo joined in the form of ring you have to draw the structure in the form of ring so it is a bit easier so you don't have to remember the uh, orthorhombic or monoclinic structure just we have to draw in the form of ring okay so how you will form uh, in the form of ring so first of all let us make eight sulfur so one this is the first sulfur we are having two three again they are coming late hai right? na 1 now 7 and 8 three draw like this okay so these are eight sulfur <coughs> each sulfur is again made it doubly bonded but not with single sulfur but two sulfur at a time okay you can see there are this sulfur is bonded to this sulfur also and this sulfur also you can say each sulfur has two bonds here and here <coughs> so sulfur bete lies below the oxygen <coughs> as oxygen has six valence shell electron so as sulfur also has six shell electron say okay as oxygen has six valence shell electron so sulfur which is belong to the same group theek hai oxygen sulfur selenium these belong to same group these elements so this they have same valence shell electron means they have six okay सिक्स वेलेंशियल इलेक्ट्रॉन आप शेयरिंग में कैसे शो करोगे बेटे जस्ट सी वन टू थ्री फोर फोर में से टू शेयर होते हैं ना तो देयर इज वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर मैंने सब कैसे बना दिए बोलो वन टू थ्री फोर okay now each sulfur has total six electron so her sulfur theek okay. hai okay to is sulfur ka ye wala electron ho gaya is sulfur ka ye wala aise is sulfur ka yahan pe ye is sulfur ka yahan pe to yahan pe aap middle mein जहां पे आपने बॉन्ड इरेज करे हैं यू विल ब्रिंग वन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ ईच सल्फर दैट इज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉर अ बॉन्ड ठीक है बेटे क्योंकि ईच सल्फर विल कंट्रीब्यूट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स। प्लीज अपडेट बेटे माय जूम इज बीइंग अपडेटेड आई डोंट नो व्हाई। सो मेनी बेटे देखो ओके okay? 
So in the sulfur, you can see it is sulfur is having eight, a uh, six electron in the valence shell. To complete the octet, it needs two electrons. Thus, it will form two bonds. Each with each of the sulfur, like this sulfur is forming the bond with this sulfur and this sulfur too. ठीक है इसे ऑक्टेड कंप्लीट तो आपने क्या दिखाना है पहले आपने ऐसे ऐसे बॉन्ड दिखा देने मैंने आपको पहले भी समझाया हुआ है जहां पे एक बॉन्ड दिखाते हो वहां पे टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आ जाते हैं ठीक है वन फ्रॉम ईच सल्फर और ये जो फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है हर सल्फर के अलग से रह जाते हैं तो ऐसे हम इसका स्ट्रक्चर ड्रॉ कर लेते हैं और कुछ नहीं करना आपने हर सल्फर के अराउंड एट इलेक्ट्रॉन पूरे कर देने जैसे ये सल्फर है तो सल्फर के अराउंड एट इलेक्ट्रॉन पूरे सल्फर के अराउंड लेट मी ड्रो दिस तो एट इलेक्ट्रॉन आपने इस सल्फर के अराउंड पूरे कर दिए This way you will draw the structure of the sulfur. <clears throat> Now the next question. From page number sixty-eight. Okay, from the page number sixty-eight. How many isomer can you draw from the pentane? <clears throat> so the from the pentane, bete three isomers can be drawn. We have already done in the class also. Okay. One is a straight chain like this: CH three, CH two, CH two, CH two, CH three. This is a straight chain. That is a pentane. Okay. Then I will make a one branch by taking this carbon and moving this carbon to here. Okay. Now the second one is CS three C CS three. Now here come H CH two CH two. Okay. Ye three ho jayega. Okay. Remember again, I am saying, bete. After completing the bonds between the carbon, you have to complete the tetravalency of the carbon by giving it number of hydrogen. Okay? So, you have hydrogen. Baad me dena shuru kia karo. Abhi aapko dhiri dhiri aata hai isliye. Jaise ye carbon hai, to carbon ke around two bonds already hai. To humne टू हाइड्रोजन दे दिए इस कार्बन के पास एक बॉन्ड था तो थ्री हाइड्रोजन दिए फोर पूरे करने के लिए तो जैसे ये वाला कार्बन है ना तो ये कार्बन के अराउंड बेटे वन टू थ्री बॉन्ड ऑलरेडी थे एक और बॉन्ड कंप्लीट करने के लिए वी हैव गिवन वन मोर हाइड्रोजन ठीक है आप ऐसे किया करो तो पहले आप स्केल्टल स्ट्रक्चर बना लिया करो आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग द स्केल्टल स्ट्रक्चर तो उसके बाद आप देखा करो स्केल्टल स्ट्रक्चर क्या होता है सिर्फ नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स दिखाने के बाद आप हाइड्रोजन लगाया करो गेटिंग माय पॉइंट उसके बाद आपने हाइड्रोजन लगाने ओके सो द नेक्स्ट इज दिस वन वन मोर ये वाला जो मैं कार्बन है आई एम मूविंग वन मोर कार्बन हियर सो आई विल गेट सी एच थ्री सी CS3, CS3, CS3. Okay. So what kind of isomers are there? They are chain isomers. You have made different type of a chain. One is straight. One have one branch. One has two branches. This is called n-pentane. This is isopentane. This is neo-pentane. Okay. So these have same molecular formula. Molecular formula means number of 
carbon and number of hydrogen atom if you will count all will consist of how many carbon that is 5 all will consist of how many uh, hydrogen that is 12 see 3 Plus three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here also, if you will count, you will get twelve. There also, you will count, you will get twelve hydrogen. So, what are isomers which have same number of carbon or hydrogen or any other atom is present? The number is same. The molecular formula is same. What is the difference? There is a difference in structures. So, one is straight, other one is branched. Other one is having two branches. one is known as n pentane okay other one is known as isopentane then neo pentane or i can say this is pentane this is two methyl butane and that is one two two di methyl propane okay that is two two di methyl propane likewise you can name the compounds what are the two properties of the carbon which led to the huge number of carbon atom we see around us this to answer i want from your side what are the two properties bete okay very nice tetravalency and catenation okay so tetravalency and catenations are the two properties which lead to the huge number of the carbon compound very nice arshin you are so fast what will be the formula and electron dot diagram of cycle arman why are you writing polymerization the two properties properties puchi hai un properties ke karan polymer bane property to catenation hai that is a process of linking so many monomers to form polymer but why this property arises this properties arises because of the property known as catenation so the next is bete what will be the formula and electron dot structure of cyclopentene so this we have also done in the class so all of you should draw it yourself hurry up draw then i'll draw cyclopentene hurry up Cyclopentane means the cyclic structure having five carbon atom. Like we have drawn the structure which has having five carbon atom in the straight chain. Now you have to draw the cyclic structure, isn't it? So this is a cyclic structure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a cyclic structure. How many hydrogen each cycle has? Each carbon hydrogen are two. As two bonds are already completed, so two more hydrogen are present. Now to draw the electron dot diagram, what we'll do? We'll just erase these bonds. Okay, this is the structure of cyclopentane, and to draw the diagram, we will erase these bonds. And each covalent bond consists of two electrons, and we'll show these two electrons here. In the exams, you will draw these bonds with a pencil, and then after showing two electrons in each bond, you will erase that pencil, and dots will be appearing. Okay? So this carbon is having how many electrons in the valence shell? There are four electrons. So each one here, and this is of hydrogen. Again, there are four electrons. One is here, one is here. and this is of hydrogen okay so this is of hydrogen so like this you will draw 
and give each electron to each carbon atom. and two electrons to each hydrogen atom. Okay. So likewise, you can draw the structure of cyclopentane, okay? So next, draw the structure of the following compounds, ethanoic acid. So what is the structure of ethanoic acid? You are very well aware. Ethanoic means having two carbon atom and acid means the functional group is COOH. Okay, so this is CH3 COOH that is ethanoic acid CH3 COOH. Then bromopentane, as they haven't mentioned as one bromo, two bromo, it is but obvious that it is one bromopentane. Okay, so this is pentane. Pentane means Pent means five carbon atom. Ane means it doesn't have any double bond in it. And bromo means it is having bromine on the first position. So it is one bromo pentane. Okay. So now next is beta butanone. Butanone means a ketone. On means a ketone. Yes, you have answered already. Okay. Butanone means CH3, CH double bond. You can show here also. In the same way, bromine, you can show here also. Okay. You can show double bond here also. It's your wish. The side where will show C double bond O will start counting from there. So it will but obvious one, two, okay? Both the way you can write. So next is hexanal. Hexanal goes a functional group of the way. Hexanal is, hurry up. Hexanal is, Al means aldehyde. Okay. Yes. Yes. Aldehyde. So hexanal means there are C still there. Coming. So there are how many carbon atom? There are six carbon atom. Okay. So this is with a hexanal having six carbon atom and the functional group is CHO. And this functional group is having its carbon. So this carbon is included in the chain. Okay. So our structure isomers for bromopentane are structure isomer possible for bromopentane yes tell me the structural isomers can be possible for bromopentane can bromine change its position this is called positional isomers if a functional group is changing the position it means it is a positional isomer the isomers which we have done better in case of pentane and draw the different structure of the pentane 
they are known as chain isomers okay now they are asking us are structure isomers possible for bromopentane yes they are be possible and the structural isomers are known as positional isomers when you will change the position of the functional group it is known as positional isomers and if you will change the position of the carbon atom in a chain that is called chain isomer so in the structure isomer the sub topic is also included this is like this ch3 ch2 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 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is first beta that is bromopentane that is one bromopentane now if i will take this bromine from here either i can draw here so let me draw here so it will be then two bromo pentane so as i am changing the position of the functional group okay so it is a positional isomer i will change the uh, if i will change the chain that is called chain isomer now i am changing the position of the functional group now functional group is at second position so it is one it is one this is one bromo pentane okay and this is two bromo pentane okay likewise you can draw three bromo pentane too let me draw chalo let me draw here then okay ch3 ch2 ch br ch2 ch3 now if i will do the counting it come to be 3 from either side the counting will be 3 means bromine is attached to the third position of the chain so this is known as three bromo pentane three bromo pentane okay so there are three positional isomers in case of bromo pentane this is one bromo two bromo and three bromo for the point any doubt you can ask theek hai how would you name the following compounds yes the compounds is been drawn in your book also the same drawing again for you and you will tell me the name then the first compound is this one yes what is what is the name yes that is bromoethane very nice so it is a bromoethane the next one given to you is this one yes what is the name of this compound ha uh, bromoethane i got so many answers one is writing ha huh? so you all you all are aware of the nomenclature so what is the name of next arman the answer dekho it is not all the seat methanol yes methanol okay yes so it is a methanol okay so what is the name of the next compound 1 2 3 4 5 6 One, two, three, four, five, six. Double bond or triple, triple. Like this, it is given in your book. Okay. What is the name of this compound, Bete? It consists of a triple bond here. Can't be a. एग्जाइन ठीक है हाँ हेग्स 
you will tell the position of the ion also what is the position of the ion as the position can be changed ha uh, to hex one ion okay so let us come to the back exercise now rest of the part have been deducted from the syllabus ethane with the molecular formula c2h6 have how many covalent bond is it having six covalent bond seven covalent bond eight covalent bond or nine covalent bond yes yes beta i am at back size the question number 1 8 you have counted with a 8 how it is 8 just draw the structure and count again 6 how it is 6 then draw the structure and count again covalent bond means any number of covalent bonds can be drawn between yes seven see bete this is a okay this is ethane how many covalent bond 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are seven covalent bonds yes seven okay so butanone butanone on is a four carbon compound with the functional group on is the functional group hai bete carboxylic acid aldehyde ketone yes ketone theek hai while cooking cooking wala to ab sevas mein hai hi nahi aapke There is no combustion reaction. Explain the nature of the covalent bond. Using the bond formation is in chloromethane. Yes. Explain the nature of the covalent bond. What is a covalent bond? What is a covalent bond? the bond which is formed by sharing of electron yes so you have to explain by the bond formation in uh, chloromethane just you will draw the electron dot diagram and you will show that each of the bond is formed by sharing of electrons theek okay? hai explaining that um, uh, three hydrogen and one chlorine is sharing an electron with carbon this draw the electron dot diagram this is your homework Just draw it. When you will draw, then show me your notebook. You show your videos and show. Hurry up. Draw the electron dot diagram of uh, chloromethane, and I I am just giving you the hint. This is C. This is one hydrogen, 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 and here is a chlorine. So chlorine has in the valence shell has seven electrons. so one of the electron of chlorine will be shared and rest of the six will be surrounded to the chlorine itself theek hai baki ke electrons aap kitni bari kar chuke ho khud karo hari aap there are seven electrons in the chlorine okay and four in the carbon and one each of the hydrogen jahan pe lines hai na wahan wahan pe electrons dikha do bas to ab show karo ये शेयरिंग हो रही है दिस इज स्ट्रक्चर बेटे बट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इलेक्ट्रॉन टू डायग्राम टू शो द शेयरिंग ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट इज ड्रॉ द इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इथेनोइक एसिड H2S प्रोपेनोन एंड F2 सो ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इथेनोइक एसिड यू विल ड्रॉ योरसेल्फ अगेन जस्ट आई विल गिव यू अ हिंट So this is ethanoic acid. Okay. 
सो इथेनोइक एसिड देखो कार्बन के पास फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं तो ये फोर ही शेयरिंग में चले जाएंगे अगेन ये कार्बन के पास एक ये बॉन्ड है दिस वन इज अनदर वन दिस टू आर अनदर वन ठीक है तो इसके भी फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स चलेंगे शेयरिंग में दीज आर द फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ कार्बन ठीक है एंड दीज आर द फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ दीज कार्बन and this is a electron of hydrogen now this oxygen is having six electron in the valence shell two of which are formed used in the bond formation and rest four is available as a lone pair these are known as lone pairs theek hai bete one is shared here for the oxygen other one is shared here for the oxygen and rest two are available here as a lone pair ठीक है, so oxygen is forming here two bonds, one with one with each, one with the carbon, one with the hydrogen. Okay, here oxygen is forming double bond. So like this, you will draw the structure of ethanoic acid. Got it? So tomorrow we'll start, and three more structure we'll do, and then we'll start with the next chapter.